Greetings and welcome, my name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and in this video I just want to show you a really quick hack to make the splash art on Game Maker Studio 2 be whatever you want it to be. So when I load up Game Maker Studio 2, it's going to pop up with one of the splash images that I have actually set it to show upon starting up, and you can see it does that, and it will rotate between these just like it normally rotates between the ones that they have as a default when you download the software. So to change that, it's actually really simple. All you have to do is find where Game Maker Studio 2 is installed, probably in your C drive, unless you actually went and changed it. If you're on a Mac, I'm not quite sure. But once you find it, you can open it up and you'll find a lot of folders, but the one you want is called Splash. And inside of here, you'll see 01 through 004, I think it is, that is the default splash art. Now, if you want to add your own, you just have to drop some images in here. And I wanted to get rid of those other ones, so I actually just removed them entirely. And you can see here that the ordering and the number isn't very important. I don't have a one, and I have this out of order from six to nine. It doesn't matter how you order them. I don't think it matters how you name them at all. If there is an image inside of this folder, it'll pull one of them randomly for when you start Game Maker Studio 2. And so it's just a really nice feature that you can change the splash art. If you're working on a game, maybe put that, take a screenshot of it and put it in there to inspire you to keep working, and or just find whatever you think looks really cool, which is kind of what I did here. Now, if you find an image and it looks a little distorted when you put it in there, it's probably because the properties of the uh, image needs to be 1360 by 966 to be kind of like a not a square but not as widescreen as a full HD photo. So if you find one that you like and that is full HD or maybe it just isn't the right resolution, something you can do is just search for image resizer, which is the first thing that came up when I did this, and this is just simpleimageresizer.com. You upload the image, click your dimensions, and then you can download your image and you're all set. That way it just looks a little nicer, it is the correct dimensions and will be displayed properly. And again, just a really neat little trick, something that doesn't take very long, and it gets you a really cool splash art to start up with Game Maker Studio 2. But that's all I've got for you, so hopefully you enjoyed that. If you have any tips and tricks that you don't think people know about, share them in the comments below, and let's spread the knowledge and the love. As always, have fun making great games, and I will talk to you later.